Coronavirus cases are finally dropping in South Africa after the government enforced tough restrictions. This comes as the country is also making major gains in other health-related areas, especially when it comes to the flu. CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata takes a closer look. As the pandemic reached South Africa's doorstep in March, epidemiologists braced themselves for a double whammy the deadly coronavirus on top of the annual devastation caused by influenza. Special monitoring units were set up by the country's National Institute of Communicable Diseases, the NICD. They waited and watched, but there was nothing. What happened was completely unprecedented and, and unexpected in that, in fact, what we saw is that we just didn't have a flu season um, this year in South Africa. And that really is unprecedented. On average, this country records around 11,000 deaths every year from flu. Historically, South Africa has very advanced flu monitoring surveillance programs, which annually record over a thousand cases in three laboratories from a sample of over 4,000 people. This year, there was only one reported case of the flu virus. Some experts credit the closure of South Africa's borders with the virtual elimination of seasonal flu this year. And certainly airports like this major international one in Johannesburg have been eerily quiet for the past six months. But Dr. Cohen thinks that while the border closures could have had some effect, it's the pandemic protection measures such as social distancing, hand sanitization and masks that hold the key. It's really a, a natural experiment that shows us if we all wore masks and if we all, um, you know, did these measures, we might in fact be able to reduce the, the flu dramatically. School children are also the main drivers of flu transmission and Cohen believes that the closure of schools might have had a bigger impact on stopping flu than COVID, which provides a cautionary tale for schools opening up in the Northern Hemisphere. And of course with school closures, there's a lot to balance, right? Um, school, the negative impact on schools of their education you know, may not justify closing the schools, for example, to keep down the flu. Her advice to those in the North, keep on wearing those masks and consider the flu vaccine as a possible preventative measure. Deborah Padder, CBS News, Johannesburg, South Africa.